Hi everyone, Sam Sag is here. I hope you're doing well. If you haven't met, I'm Sam. I coach people on real estate. The sixth deadly sin of property investing is to not treat property as a business. You're in business right now. And if you run a company, you're quite well adverse to understanding that you need cash flow to keep afloat. You need sometimes to discount things to move them off the shelf. You have to run your property portfolio as a business. What is quite evident at the moment, most property investors are what I describe as good time Charlie property investors. They buy real estate and they really only want it to go up and they don't want any headaches or any complications through that journey. The statistics show that a lot of property investors actually fail being an investor altogether. They own real estate for around six years and then kind of give up. All of the problems associated with owning real estate sort of wear them down and they just opt out. Property is a business and the deadly sin, of course, is to treat property like it is not a business. Today, we are faced with some business decisions via the coronavirus. The coronavirus is reshaping economics, and it was always going to happen. The fact that Australia is going to recess was always on the cards. The great deflation is here, and how you run your property business is the question. Most people, I guess, don't consider property as a business. They consider it as... I guess, some sort of uh, thing into the future, which if they just buy it and leave it alone, they'll get a result from. But it doesn't work like that. Downturn economics is real. Every 10 years, we have a downturn. So you need to know how to behave and work your property portfolio in that situation. Today, there are so many great levers to pull in corona economics. You can negotiate to have a mortgage holiday. You can negotiate with your tenants to reduce rent or give them a rent-free period just to help them along their journey. There's no point in panicking about it and there's no point in getting flustered over it. It's just business. So make some great business decisions on your cash flow because at the moment, cash flow is king. The more you've got of it, the better the outcome for you personally as time filters through. So good luck. Get your cash flow sorted. Treat property as a business a deadly sin not to.